Good morning, guys. Uh, Lance Weatherby here, here on uh, Chockahatchee Bay in Destin. Um, you asked me to shoot a video for you. I don't mind doing that. I had a few minutes this morning. So I'm just going to give you a little walk around on the boat while I'm on the water, and then I'll run the boat through its paces and, and just run it at uh, 2,000, 2,500, 3,500 RPMs and just kind of give you a brief overview of the boat. Like I told you in the email, this boat is fantastic. Uh, it's in perfect condition. It's, uh, it's 2004, um, but a 9 out of 10. Um, not any issues, uh, everything's turnkey and ready to go. So start back in here at the transom. Um, back here, of course, we got the twin Yamaha 200 four strokes uh, with the extended swim platform, as you can see here in the back. Um, the boat looks great. Of course, you got the dive ladder here on the side. Um, both sides, you've got two sinks with cutting boards here on the stern of the boat. Um, right here, this would be a great little sink for you. Down here you've got access to your batteries as well as bilge access here and they do make an, a, an adapter here or an attachment that you can put in um, for your uh, for, for another fish box here in the back okay so you've got that access um, additional access here to the side your raw water wash down here on the port side fresh water access here on the on the back here on the uh, the stern as well um, and then two cutting boards on, on uh, starboard and uh, port side of the boat. But as you can see on the side of the boat, uh, all the bolsters are in pretty good shape. Uh, canvas, and, canvas and upholstery on this boat is in great shape. 36 gallon live well. Okay, and, we, and I, I don't know if I told you the email, but you've got a 150 gallon tank. Um, you've got a 36 gallon um, fresh water tank and a 30 gallon raw water tank. So these snaps just snap into here and uh, we'll snap these suckers in. And then on this side, you have a huge fish box. Now my buddy here, he's been using this for storage. Um, doesn't do a whole lot of fishing on here because he's got some younger kids, uh, but you got room for bumpers. And as you can see here, I think this is a 190 quart uh, fish box on this. But cushion's in great shape. We'll snap this back into place here and the snaps are in great shape um, but as you can tell the eyes and glass is awesome um, hard top on the gritty whites a great great feature um, get your rear spreader lights um, the aluminum uh, the support system on this is in great shape you got your um, rod holders here on the side now coming up here to the uh, the helm area twin captain seats you've got tackle storage below um, Yamaha controls, 704, this is the remote control. Um, trim, everything, like I said, is in working condition. And even the glass here for the protection here for your toggle switch is in great shape. Of course, you got all your accessory switches, um, trim tabs here on the side, tilt, C-Star hydraulic steering. Um, and he added a 741 XS uh, GPS bottom finder with a through-hole transducer. Um, all touch screen, as you can see here, you got your sonar. You can do full screen sonar, you can do split screen, you can do your GPS, navigation chart here, um, it's in great shape. Just a little lock box here for you too. Yamaha digital gauges, 640 hours on the port motor, 636 hours on the starboard motor, as well as your fuel management system. Sirius uh, satellite ready, he does not have Sirius radio hooked up, but if you wanted to add Sirius Radio, um, feel, feel free to do that as well. Uh, electronics box up top, VHF radio. Um, everything is in such great shape, I man. It's in good condition. Um, you got your life jacket bag here up top, if you can see that as well. And then coming down here into the cabin. Um, everything's in great shape. You got your sink, uh, porta potty access here underneath the cushions, but all these cushions don't even look like they've ever been used. Um, you've got a bimini top cover here in the back that you can use for the for the top for the uh, for the canvas um, access down here just a little storage and this makes a full-size bed here as well as your bunk that you have a bed here as well now your your stereo main unit is right here on the top okay you got your little map lights here um, and then of course your your portal here that goes out to the, uh, the to the deck there but uh, I'm gonna run this boat here for you guys Coming up here, I'm gonna have Randy, my buddy Randy here, film us. And what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna start this boat. I'm gonna show you how quick it gets up on plane. About 3.7 seconds on plane with the uh, Yamaha 200s. 
we're gonna face north here and kind of go into we got a little bit of a chop so you'll kind of see how this boat gets to run but a uh, fantastic rod I'm gonna close this up so we don't have any rattling going on here but everything works as you can tell but uh, we're gonna start just uh, just put the boat in neutral put it in reverse just so we go from uh, zero to 3200 RPM here. Okay, here we go. Ready, Randy? Ready. Alright. I'm going to tilt the steering wheel here for me a little bit. Alright, we're going to trim it all the way down. Good. Alright, and we're ready to roll. As we can see, we're at zero RPMs right now. Excuse me, six RPMs just because the motors are in idle. Okay, here we go. about 34, 3500 RPMs. A great cruise on this boat, if you look online, um, is about 24 to 2600 RPMs. It'll still keep the boat leveled out on plane. Um, the top speed on this boat, I believe, is about 46 miles an hour, but we're gonna test it out here. I've already warmed up the motors, so I'm gonna go ahead and get us up here, get us here going top speed. Thank you. 